Gustafsson. I finally gave a listen to those LPs and the CD you sent me of your own saxophone playing and some Swedish modern jazz. I gotta tell you, on the cover of the CD of your sax playing, which is black and has no text on it, I wrote in large block capital letters in silver ink, torturing the saxophone, Matt Gustafsson. I just totally failed to find anything enjoyable about this or to see what this has to do with music as I understand it or what in God's name is going on in your head that you want to make such noises on a musical instrument. Quite frankly, I was kind of shocked at what a negative, unpleasant experience it was listening to it. I had to take it off long before it reached the end. I just don't get it. I don't understand what it is about. You actually go on tour with that stuff. <laughs> wow. People actually sit and listen to that. I mean, they voluntarily go to the place, maybe even pay, pay, to hear that stuff. And then they sit there quietly, politely and listen. Unbelievable. I should go myself sometimes and see this. Witness with my own eyes. I don't say these things with the intention to insult you. You seem to be a, a perfectly nice, civilized guy with a good sense of humor. I am speaking the plain truth of my reaction to the records and the CD you sent. That this noise could give anyone any aesthetic pleasure is beyond my comprehension, <laughs> truly. Is this the logical end of improvisational music? Is this where it ends up? Where does it go from this point? Is there any audience for this free jazz besides other guys who play it and maybe their wives who must patiently endure it? I just don't get it. Am I too unhip? Am I a square from Delaware? A thick from Battle Creek? Robert Crumb. <laughs>